it is normally open type of the wall it is connected in parallel so you can see over here this is the deceleration wall and it is connected in parallel with the meter out flow control wall which is integral with the check wall now this type of the circuit is used to control the motion of this machine table and the machine table movement is decelerated at certain points while the work is performed on this particular workpiece so while performing the work on the workpiece we want the reduced speed and this is the purpose of this particular circuit the other components of this particular hydraulic circuit are as usual we are having the reservoir from the reservoir the fluid will enter into filter and will get filtered when the pump is driven by this particular electric motor the, the fluid is pumped from the reservoir then this is the four way two position manually operated spin control direction control valve so here there are two position this is the left envelope mode and this is the right envelope mode these are the pump port p this is the reservoir port that is r one and two are the other ports which are leading to the blind end of the cylinder and the other end leads to the rod end of the cylinder so port 3 from this particular port 3 the fluid enters into the blind end of the cylinder and from this port 4 it will go to the reservoir this is the deceleration wall which is normally open type of the wall and as we have seen earlier or as we have said earlier it is in parallel with this particular flow control wall with the integral check wall so this is the check wall or non return wall and this is the flow control wall with the restricted opening now at the end of this particular piston rod we have connected we are having this machine table on the machine table the work piece is mounted and at the bottom of this machine table there is a cam for the forward motion of this particular piston and piston rod the cam will also the machine table and cam and work piece will also move together in the forward direction and as soon as this cam touches this roller of the deceleration wall it will press this in the downward direction and block this particular so when this cam it presses this roller we will get this particular position which is the block position so let us try to understand how this particular circuit works the other components they are also same so here we are having this shut off wall which is connected to the pressure gauge pressure gauge is used for indicating the design pressure which is present in the circuit if the design if the pressure exceeds the design pressure then some part of the fluid will be going to this pressure through this pressure will fall to the reservoir and the system pressure is again restored back to the original value now in this particular case we are having the spool of the direction control wall operated in such a way that we are getting this left envelope mode the fluid from the reservoir will enter into the filter then it will from the pump port p it will go to the port one and then it will enter through port three into the blind end of the cylinder now it will force the piston and piston rod to move in the forward direction along with this machine table cam and work piece now this cam it touches this roller and presses it in the downward direction now as this roller is placed in the downward direction now initially the wall is normally open type then it will become we will assume this particular position over here and it will be blocked during this particular position the fluid from this port p it will through this normally open type of the wall it will go to the reservoir and now as the cam it has touched the roller now we want to reduce motion of this machine table so that some work will be performed on this workpiece at a reduced speed so further motion further forward motion will be at a reduced speed so that will be indicated over here so now as the roller is pressed the position will be over here the position which was present over here is now the ports are getting blocked over here and therefore from port for the liquid will not go over here from this it will come at this particular end and it cannot go through the check wall because it is normally closed position of the check wall so it has to go compulsorily through this flow control wall which is a restricted opening as you can see over here by this arrow and therefore the fluid will go to the reservoir from 2 to R with some reduced quantity and therefore the forward motion of the piston is controlled and in this way we can perform at the reduced speed the work on the workpiece till this cam remains in contact with this roller now when the spool of this four way 
direction control wall is operated in such a way that we get right envelope move then from this port the liquid will enter into this port and it will go from this end this line to this through this particular check wall it will enter into the port 4 and will cause a retraction of the piston along with this machine table in the backward direction and the fluid from the other end that is from port 3 it will go to this port 2 and then to the reservoir R as shown over here. So in this way the dissolution circuit.